I have a statement and a request before we roll video. What you're about to see is the biggest bag ever caught on YouTube, cast a catch on a public lake. 49 pounds, three ounces, five fish. The request, watch the whole video, was the dumbest thing ever. Best fishing ever. Most insane thing ever. Better than sex? I kind of think so. Watch the whole video. That's it. Let's roll. Sexiness. Those are freaking giants. Day two and it's snowing. Not really. This guy's chucking ice out of my cooler. Florida snow. So day two, day one, pretty good day. Uh, wet flimpid punching Okeechobee. We had some fun. We had one big one, but it was a grind to get some others. So today is a deep water day. We're going to focus on a couple of schools and pods of fish, on shell bars, offshore structure, and uh, this will be your first time throwing a Nico rig probably, huh? Yeah, it sure will. That'll be kind of cool. Uh, but crankbaits, Nico rigs, I don't even know what else. We'll try some. Oh, you got your cool trap trip. T trap, trap, trip. Something with a rattle trap that he's going to try. T tell me about that real quick. Uh, well, it's just a big trap. I it's an ounce and a quarter trap. It's a bomber. And um, I'm just going to try it deep and try to kind of drag it towards the bottom and yo-yo it a little bit. But it's not something like you're just like trying. Like this is something you've done before to catch bass. And oh, that, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I use at the spillway all the time. But um, it's certainly not in 20 feet of water. But, but that's crazy. We'll try it out. That's a, that's a big trap right there. So we got some plans. We got some ideas. We are going to get on the road and get on the water. because they're not catching any fish sometimes but uh dude like is that not like absolutely gorgeous yeah beautiful check this out there's something with like florida sunrises during the winter like either during the super hot freaking summer or freaking during like the the middle of winter when it's been cool at night like it's absolutely gorgeous and i've never seen any place in the u.s that looks like that so cool way to start the day but screw the mushy crap we need to catch some fish it's kind of romantic okay screw the mushy crap <laughs> we need to catch some fish dude. all right so here we go Oh god. I don't know what happened there, boy. No, but I ran over one. Cast that way. <laughs> Dude, massive. Massive. Well, Mike says he's got a giant. Here she comes. Oh my gosh. Dude. I think she just lost a hook though. Holy cow, that is a monster. I think she lost a hook, dude. dude. So massive was the correct adjective. Huh? You were not kidding. 
just hope she doesn't come off. She's hooked on the side of her face, and I think she's got both hooks, but I felt like a little tink. There's more, because I hit one, too, yeah. when we were... It's freaking whale wars. Yeah, you know you got a big one on when you can't even reel your crankbait. You're just... When it pulls your boat in a circle. Yeah, dude, it is pulling the boat, because I'm not running the... Dude, this thing is huge. Got a 10 XD on, and I hit a fish and cast it right back there. This is kind of a bad situation. She might be coming up. You might be able to scoop her. I don't know. You got to just, oh, she's trying to go to the back of the boat. Heads up. Oh, uh, no. Here, right here. Come on, come on. No. Oh, boy, look at that. Got her. Oh, <laughs> that fish is oh enormous. my gosh. You see that, thing? that is probably the biggest bass up, I've seen in person. Back up, back up, back up. Holy cow, dude. All right. Oh, I got an eyeball. Bitch, you came right off, dude. Oh, get this thing going, dude. Oh, man, look at that thing. She's so angry. Holy cow. Just head first, kind of, our tail for it, just kind of sliders. There you go. Get her in there. Yeah, turn the filter on. Get in there, girl. What? <laughs> yeah. Guys, I don't. I don't get to knocky. I guess I do because I freak out. But dude, I'm freaking out. Like. Me and this guy just freaking spent like an hour. He caught like a he caught a solid one, and we're just slow fishing, super super duper slow with Nico rigs. And I'm like, dude, you know sometimes these fish like you have to fish super slow or you have to fish like super super fast. So we got out some 10 XDs and I hit a fish. And I'm like, hey, it, like totally off our waypoints and that. I'm like, hey, dude, like I I think I just hit a fish because there's nothing down there but sand. Second cast right after that, dude, I got a massive one on and just burn in that freaking 10 xd look at this fish watch your foot for a sec that's called overfilling your live well i'm gonna give this guy the camera we're gonna put her on the scale and we're gonna get back to it good gosh look at that fish man oh man 913 oh 913 Dude, fish. how much closer can you get to 10 of that? All right. Wow. See you later, Thunker. And now we gotta get back to the place. Oh, she's biting my finger. You can go home, honey. You don't gotta bite my finger. She's like, what the hell just happened to me? Oh, she's done. See you later, cutie cakes. what do these fish look like? Because I mean, obviously that's the biggest key. You want to find structure in that, but on the graph, like what does a fish look like? What am I looking for? What do I know when I see it where I go, dude, time to fish. Let me show you. <clears throat> this is on my, my Lawrence hook seven. And uh, these are the fish. Now keep in mind two factors. One, we're kind of drifting around and trolling, so we're not at an idle speed or anything. So they do come across as, as sort of like lines on the graph because we drift with them or drift over them. But those, especially when you're over like 10, 12 foot, when you see thick yellow lines on this color palette, thunker. Thunk donkey, thunk, go fishing. That's about all I can say about that. Dave's got another freaking monster on. This fish doesn't even know it's hooked. Look at it, it's just sitting. It's gonna wanna come around though. It's steamrolling. I'm gonna chase her a little bit. Now we know it's a big one. Yeah. I'm going at her, so just watch the slack in your line. An absolute giant on. Crankbaits are the way to go. We caught one on a swim bait. And then it literally just busted the cranks back out. Watch out for the pole and the motor. Spinning the boat. There she is right there. Oh my God. 
<laughs> yeah. She wasn't ready. I think she's got the hooks pretty decent now. <laughs> yeah, but do you see the size of this fish? That's big. I'll try not to yell. Let's put it that Do way. not yell. All right, gently back this way. Gently back this giant, way. Dude. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking, I'm not yelling. That's a giant. Let's just say that's a giant. That's all right, dude. I can feel it. That's like the first one we caught. That is a massive donkey troll. Massive donkey troll. Oh, dude, she was going somewhere. Ah, she was pretty well hooked. Dude, that, oh, you might have broke 10. I don't know. It's going to be down close. It's not close. as heavy as it looks, but it's, it's broad. Yeah, put her in the well. We'll turn that thing on Get get set up. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at that. Why do you come to Florida? Because those things swim here. I, I, this is the worst day I've ever had in my life. I'm not even gonna lie. Not gonna lie. On the dead mustard plug. Dead mustard is showing off. Guys, this, this is, this is a heaven. I don't even know how to describe this. This is insanity. There's no way to describe this right now. There's another one in the well that's probably over nine. I'm gonna grab his camera. He's gonna grab the scale. We're gonna find out how big this is because it's big there we go gentlemen uh, it's gonna be right on the high end nine nine, nine two. two nine two that's my second biggest bass most likely maybe third do we have three over nine two over nine two over nine i mean this is insane you want to let her go right here She's, you know, it, she's lighter than she looks like she should be. It's a long eyes. fish, though, dude. Look at those bug eyes, man. We were talking about bug eyes, weren't we? See ya. Crankbait bite? I say crankbait bite. Let's uh, stick with what works, huh? I can't even deal with this. It's a scale of waterproof. You're good. Just dropped it in the well like it's no big deal. I'm high. I can't even. This is stupid. It's unbelievable. Guys, with all this insanity, I want to take a second to tell you about what we have taught on and how it's rigged up because I think it's integral to how we're getting down and accessing these fish, basically keeping the bait down there longer. Um, we're both throwing 12 pound fluorocarbon and I think that's the most important thing out of all. This is a 10XD. If you guys have watched the videos before, I talked about my cranking setup. The majority of guys, majority of anglers I should say, are throwing a 10XD on freaking like 14, 15, maybe even 16 pound fluorocarbon. That's great if you got a bunch of cover around, but if your main central goal is to get that bait down as deep as you possibly can without breaking it off, just cranking, and to keep it down there as long as you possibly can, 12 pound fluoro is the way to go, and that's our goal right here. So I got a 10XD 12 pound fluoro. I do run these clips as well. Um, I like it because it keeps the line from kind of being near the bill, so it can protect the line a little bit. It's real easy to switch colors. This was the magic color today, green gizzard shed, and then <laughs> David had dead mustard, which he calls dead blue. Basically just like crazy colors, but I, I don't know how much it mattered, but those are the two, oh, dead mustard. Green gizzard chat. Get back, back to work, huh? So, so those are the two colors. Um, setup wise, here's the irony. David's throwing this Joker on a, on a seven two one reel. It's a Shimano Corrado two hundred E seven, and that's a hyper speed reel. I'm doing the exact opposite. I got a five two one old school old school Quantum Energy. So we're both though cranking it. Like, dude, I'm talking freaking grinding it on the bottom. We called it kind of bulldozer fishing. 
we are grinding it on the bottom with the reel as well as the fact that once we stop we'll let it pause for a second and then we're sweep grinding it so like that bait is chug a lugging these fish freaking are all reaction bite can't catch them on plastic can't catch them fishing like super duper slow it's reaction triggering those fish and triggering those fish means getting the bait down on the bottom keeping it there grinding that bottom but that's the 10xd setup um you know big rods you're throwing like the flipping stick you're cranking rods and then uh when you fight them play with that drag but let's get back to it here Another dink, he says. Oh god. Yeah, don't yeah, you gotta don't let it jump either. You gotta keep it real silent. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Where's she headed? Forward or back? Down. <laughs> She's got an elevator to hell! <laughs> How big do you think she is? Nine. <laughs> if you catch another nine, I'm gonna be a little pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna say nine just because I open it to ten and I, I think it's possible. <laughs> but I usually overshoot. Right, I'm gonna just get my bait up real quick. Coming right where you're baiting. Kind of moving up and down. Just coming in now. Okay. She might be close. Oh. Motor, motor, motor. Oh my. That's the biggest fish. Dude, oh my god, dude. I can't even lift the thing. Oh my god. Dude, it's your personal best. There's no doubt about it. Guys. Guys, this is. Get that pliers. Get, get, get. Dude, this is, this is a monster. This is a. Oh, she wasn't coming off either. Alright, Chief. Grab your freaking monster here. Here, wait, I want you to hold. The weigh-in of the biggest fish of the day is about to come. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Is it 10? It feels like it's 10, 15 or so. Holy mother of God. That's a monster, dude. Yeah, you got it. Fog, stop. Fog, stop. Fog. 10-2. 10, two. Ten, two. Ten two. Biggest fish of the day. Hold that little thing little up and show it off. Hold it sideways, dude. Oh, Get, well. Give it some support. Oh my god, dude. That is enormous. Ten Absolutely two. enormous. Digit. Finally the double digit. Can I get a release? Oh, I can't believe what it feels like to hold a 10 pounder, man. It's been my whole life. Go. Three fish over the room. Mike, all kidding aside, you just put me on my PB and the double digit fish I've been looking for my whole life, man. That was dumb. And you caught three over nine. He just caught his PB. We're, we're, okay, we had three nine pounders, so we have 30 pounds with three fish. We're well into 40. I don't want to say it, but could we hit 50? The worst day, so we can't. God only knows. Worst day of fishing ever. Whatever. Fuck those guys. Yep, yep. He freaking knocks slack into the line. No, I'm like 10XT. And I can't move him. Yeah, you do. Oh, God, we have an issue. 
Dude, we're, we're doubled up again. Oh, I'm coming towards your line. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Give me the net. Give me the net if you can. He's snagged on the side and he's gigantic. And this guy right here is freaking circling us. I'm glad he can't hear that over his motor. What, what, a, what a jerk. And then I got this thing in the net that I'm trying to bring in. That might be as big as yours. Uh, it's the port. Dude, I got two. I got two giants. I got double giants. Oh my god. Dude, look at this. Double giants. Double giants. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. It's so thick. What do we do? I was gonna get this little one over the side real quick because he's not about four pounds. Okay, four pounder. Dave just doubled up and got two massive ones. Look at this. This one has to go in the well because this it, is a juice. That is a giant. Watch your line. Get it in. Pulling that drag. Guys, I think you've probably heard the word unbelievable like 14 times today. Absolutely insane, epic, every single keyword YouTube loves. Like, this is actually for real that. Unlike a bunch of other crap that just uses those words and doesn't produce, this is the most epic, the most insane, the craziest day of fishing I've ever had in my entire life. We're well into 40 and after we do the math, I'm not gonna do it now, I'm gonna wait till we get to numbers, we might even hit 50. I don't freaking know, but we got three giants to weigh and Dave's gonna put them on the scale. I'm gonna jump back here while he does it and Bog's gonna get out of the way, Bog. Go. We're gonna go one by one and weigh these jokers and we're gonna pop them back in the lab and release them back where we were. Let's just take a look at that. I mean, cause here's the deal. There, there's our Guggins out here. So we kind of had to run away to weigh these fish pissed. They're still alive, guys. <laughs> Is it on the scale? Alright, good deal. No way. Stop. 10-2, guys. 
Ten two. All right, ten. so that's one. How often do you get to do this in life? <laughs> How often do you get to do that in life? It's insane. All right. This is the first one we weighed right yep. here, right? I'll keep an eye. Okay, so the second one we need to weigh is on the right there. Here we go again. This is number two. Nine nine guys. Nine nine. Oh my god, nine nine. And then the one is on the right that we need to weigh. The, the one that's floated up, I thought. Oh yeah. I think it's the one on the bottom. Okay. How will we know for sure? That's bigger than all of them. You think this is the right uh, one? no, that's not the right one. It's the other one. That's the one. This is cool. Yeah. And we gotta get those two guys back. It's sorry for the disaster, but yeah, that's yours because see how its lips are ripped up? That's the... You broke your personal best. Well, I already Fuck. broke it with the 10 too. Oh, yeah, that's right. What is it? 9-9. Nine, 9-9, nine. Nine, nine, guys. That's three fish over nine. That's freaking three times nine is 27. That's 27 pounds of three fish. Yeah, but you have a 10 in here too. Oh, that one was over, yeah. Oh my, guys, we gotta go back fishing. All right, guys, here's the deal. Um, we, we just wanted to shoot some video and get those guys weighed um, away from the Guggins because the Guggins are, are real. Um, we're gonna go back out. We're gonna release those fish where we caught them, make sure they're okay because that is like of primary importance. We're not screwing around with hurting fish because they're giving us the best day of our lives, basically. So we're gonna run back out there. We're gonna fish some more. I invited my buddy out. I'm like, dude, this is the dumbest bite I've ever experienced. You need to get out here. So he's fishing it, kind of holding the place too, protecting it from guys. And um, we're gonna go back out. It can't get any better than this. All right, guys, we're gonna release these fish back where they were. Silly, Mike, silly. And we got one more after this. I wanna make sure these guys are okay though, because this is just when they give you so much fun and like that's he's ready to go. This guy's getting there. He's ready to go. And ho hold on. Hit the stop button. We got one more. You want me to hit the stop button or no, you're I don't. <laughs> okay, this is dumb, but the stupid part about this. Is we got another like three nines or three fish over nine. This is just it's unbelievable. Best day of fishing of our life. Dude, I don't know about you, but I am emotionally spent. <laughs> like I have nothing left. Like that, first of all, that's the best day of fishing I've ever experienced in my life, which means I, this happened today and like three, four months ago, I had the best day of fishing I've ever had in my life, and this caps that. Like I, I, I like you were almost up to 50 pounds. You caught your personal best. Yeah, not only did I catch my personal best, but for my whole life, I've been chasing that 10 pounder. That's true. And today's the day it happened. And then I caught other fish that were bigger than my previous personal best. So it just it couldn't have been any better. It's the best fishing day I've ever had. I can't even imagine having another one. I couldn't imagine asking for another day like this. It was so far surpassed anything I could have hoped. It was unbelievable, to man just one of those days that you just look at and so thankful we have the footage because you can look back at this and be like what that really happened yeah. well and i wouldn't believe me like you know like <laughs> it, it, two years later all of a sudden it's like 65 pounds you know like we got it on on video and it it's real and it happened that, that happened yep. that experience was was real we haven't <laughs> even watched the video yet or like reviewed it but like what i'm emotionally burnt out like this is the end of the day we pulled the boat out and we're trying to reflect on the day and it's just so much like we, we were so emotionally high as we went through catching these fish we literally dude we'd, we'd catch one we would drift off shoot a little video of like weighing it in we would go back to where that fish like line up and make another cast we'd make one or two casts and hook up again and at some point like we, we both hooked giants like at the same it, it, like it was I, dude our freaking like serotonin levels or whatever were through the roof for like two and a half hours straight like i don't know if you've ever experienced anything like i'm done i'm spent i want to lay down and go to bed for 10 hours it was the best feeling ever don't get me wrong i don't think i'll ever have another day like that i think you will dude because i think you're on some fish and i think you can, you can i guess you can i framed it wrong there. i don't care if i ever have a day like that <laughs> 
It was great to share with you. And the fact is, we do this trip every year. And this is like the six-year culmination of us doing this. It's kind of an annual thing. We're actually, like, quote-unquote, we're not friends. Like, we don't, like, hang out, like, all the year round. Like, dude, we do one trip a year. We get together. We hang out. We catch up with each other. You know, we unite on the fact that we love the fish. And we both kind of done the YouTube thing. And, you know, our personalities sink in that. So we get our two days a year to get him out of the house, away from the kids, and for me to kind of hang out. We talk shop, talk about video, and the fishing's been good. But this is, this is the it. best. This is it. Like this is this is the trip that we'll like in five six years from now. This is the one we'll talk about ten years from now. This is the trip we'll talk about. You telling the grandkids about this? If you ever feel like this and look like this because you caught nearly fifty pounds, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Well, that's a wrap. Make sure you check out Fido Beto on YouTube. One of the original gangsters, dude, on YouTube. Old school, <laughs> real deal. Started it way back in the day. And uh, support Real Fishing. Like, subscribe, share the vid. This is the craziest, stupidest experience ever. Share it, man. And uh, let people know. Show people what can happen on the water. And show people how fun it is to capture that, that moment and that experience on video. So, till next time, tight lines. You're not going to see a video as good as this one probably for a while, but whatever. Like, subscribe. Thanks, Mike. We're out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's true sexiness. Those are freaking giants. <laughs>